Welcome to Bible Stories. Today we're diving into an intriguing and powerful theme that speaks to the very heart of prophecy, destiny, and redemption. In our journey, we'll explore a message that resonates with the story of one of history's most enigmatic leaders, King Nebuchadnezzar, and a modern parallel that some believe could mirror the life of Donald Trump. As we uncover biblical patterns, prophecies, and insights, this theme invites us to see how history and scripture provide lessons that may guide us through the challenges of today. If you're passionate about uncovering the profound layers of God's Word, understanding the mysteries of the Bible, and how ancient truths still resonate in our modern world, then you're in the right place. I invite you to subscribe to Bible Stories. We regularly share deep, thought-provoking, and inspiring content that will enrich your faith journey. Don't forget to hit the like button if you find this message impactful, and leave your thoughts in the comments. Your engagement brings new insights to our entire community. Please share this video with your family, friends, and church groups so that we can all grow together in understanding and wisdom. Let's get started. Thank you all for tuning into my YouTube channel, UPF Front. I'm genuinely grateful for each of you joining me today. I want to begin by sharing something significant that God has revealed to me over the years. Many of you who have followed our ministry closely are familiar with the events that God showed us on a national scale, often years before they actually occurred. I won't revisit all of those instances here, but I encourage you to explore the history of our ministry if you're curious about the details. During each election season, I typically receive some sort of insight or word concerning the election. However, in 2020, something quite unusual happened. I received no word whatsoever about that year's election. People would ask me, who do you think will win? And my honest response was, I don't know. I'm not one to make predictions lightly. Nor do I claim that God said something unless I am truly convinced the Spirit has placed it on my heart. Today, I want to share a message I wrote for Donald Trump. While he may never see this, I believe it's essential to convey. This message is included in a book I wrote, with the first edition published in 2021, just about a year after the 2020 election. In chapter 10 of this book, I discuss what I call the rise of the Trump stump. Instead of summarizing the story, I'd like to read an excerpt that I wrote a few years ago. In our ministry, we delve deeply into patterns, cycles, biblical numbers, and their meanings, as well as the significance of Hebrew and Greek words. One of my guiding verses is from Solomon, who said, The thing which has been, is that which shall be, and that which has been done is that which shall be done. This inspires me to explore historical events, both biblical and secular, to show how they repeat over time. When Trump lost the election in 2020, there was significant talk about election interference or potential misconduct. But that's not my focus. Instead, I want to address a biblical pattern I identified and documented in 2021, which seems to be unfolding now. This biblical pattern relates to the story of King Nebuchadnezzar. When I shared this revelation with a trusted ministry friend close to President Trump, they confirmed, saying, Perry, this is the word for now. So, I'm not here to say, this is what Perry Stone believes. Rather, I believe God has had a plan all along one that we are now witnessing unfold. There is one part of this message that may be controversial, but that's nothing new for me. Let's talk about the concept of the Trump stump. This term is explained in my book, and it touches on a parallel I've noticed between America and ancient Babylon. In Genesis 11, we learn about Nimrod and the Tower of Babel, a structure built by men who saw themselves as little gods. Nimrod's Babylonian system was built on control and global dominance rejecting the true God. Later, King Nebuchadnezzar rebuilt Babylon, making it the envy of the world, similar to how Trump's legacy and empire flourished before his presidency. King Nebuchadnezzar, like Trump, was a powerful and respected leader who prioritized his empire's success. Although he wasn't particularly religious, he surrounded himself with Jewish believers, including Daniel, who advised him in matters of faith and governance. Nebuchadnezzar's expertise in finance, trade, and politics made Babylon a powerhouse, and his formidable army quelled any uprising against him. In many ways, he was the Trump of his era. Here's where things get interesting. At the peak of his power, King Nebuchadnezzar had a profound dream about a massive tree. 
An angel descended and cut the tree down, but left its stump in the ground, with instructions to pass around it seven times. This dream represented a lesson for Nebuchadnezzar, who, despite his achievements, harbored a fatal flaw, a weakness that would ultimately lead to his temporary downfall. Similarly, I believe Trump has experienced a cutting down, yet the stump remains. This stump signifies resilience and a chance for redemption, just as it did for Nebuchadnezzar. For Trump, this moment could be a time of growth, reflection, and even a comeback. While some may find these parallels challenging, I urge you to approach them with an open mind. Thank you for allowing me to share this with you. For those who resonate with this message, I encourage you to explore its implications further. God's plans are often mysterious, yet there's always a purpose behind them. May we seek wisdom in understanding these patterns and remain open to what God is unfolding in our times. Thank you all for joining me here on UPF Front. I'm truly grateful for each one of you taking the time to tune in. Today, I want to share a message that's been weighing on my heart, something I believe God has been revealing over the years. As many of you who have followed our ministry know, we've witnessed events unfold on a national scale that were revealed to us well in advance. I won't recount all the past instances now, but if you're curious, you can explore our ministry's history to discover how these things unfolded. Typically, during election seasons, I receive insights or revelations about the events ahead. However, something unprecedented happened in 2020. I received no word at all about that year's election. People would ask me, who's going to win? And my response was, I honestly don't know. I'm not one to speak presumptuously, nor would I say, God said this, unless I am deeply convinced that the Spirit has truly placed it on my heart. Today, I feel compelled to share a message for Donald Trump. He may never hear or see this, but I believe it's important to put it out there. This message is actually recorded in a book I wrote, with its first edition published in 2021, about a year after the 2020 election. In chapter 10, I introduce a concept I call the rise of the Trump stump. Rather than summarizing it, I'd like to read a passage directly from the book. In our ministry, we often explore patterns, cycles, and the meanings of biblical numbers, as well as the depth of Hebrew and Greek words. One of my guiding scriptures comes from the wisdom of Solomon. What has been will be again. What has been done will be done again. This verse drives me to explore the events of biblical history and sometimes even secular history, showing how these patterns repeat in our world. When Trump lost the 2020 election, there was a lot of talk about interference and integrity, but that's not my focus. Instead, I want to discuss a biblical pattern I identified back in 2021, a pattern that, to my amazement, appears to be playing out. This pattern concerns the ancient king Nebuchadnezzar, a powerful ruler of Babylon. When I shared my interpretation of this pattern with a close ministry friend of President Trump, they said, Perry, this is the word for now. So, this is not about promoting my own thoughts. Rather, I am convinced that God has a greater plan at work, and I believe we're seeing it unfold. One part of this message may be controversial, but that's nothing new for me. Let's explore the concept of the Trump stump. This term is explained in my book, where I outline parallels between modern America and ancient Babylon. In Genesis 11, we read about Nimrod and the Tower of Babel, a symbol of human pride and control, rejecting the sovereignty of God. Later, King Nebuchadnezzar rebuilt Babylon and turned it into a global power, much like how Trump built his business empire before taking office. Nebuchadnezzar, like Trump, was a formidable and influential leader. Though not overtly religious, he surrounded himself with Jewish believers, including Daniel, who guided him spiritually and politically. Nebuchadnezzar's expertise in finances, trade, and governance turned Babylon into a world superpower, and his strong military presence kept any opposition at bay. In many ways, he was the Trump of his time. At the height of his power, Nebuchadnezzar experienced a remarkable dream. In this dream, he saw a massive tree that was cut down by an angel, but its stump was left in the ground, symbolizing resilience and the potential for regrowth. The angel declared that seven times would pass around the stump, and afterward, the tree would begin to grow again. One year later, as Nebuchadnezzar was surveying his empire, his mind was struck 
and he lived in isolation, separated from his kingdom for seven years, the seven times of his dream. During his time of exile, Nebuchadnezzar underwent a profound transformation. When he returned to himself, he became a believer in the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, giving God the glory for his life and achievements. Interestingly, he was restored to his throne, and his second reign was marked by humility and a newfound reverence for God. Similarly, I believe Trump has undergone his own cutting down. The stump represents what remains, a foundation ready to regrow. Trump, like Nebuchadnezzar, may be experiencing a period of transformation and growth. Some of you may find these parallels difficult, but I encourage you to consider them with an open mind. To President Trump, should he ever see this message, be humble before God, but stand strong before men. That's the message I felt compelled to share. I believe that, like Nebuchadnezzar, Trump will emerge from this period a changed man, a leader tempered by humility, yet still strong and decisive. If he returns, he won't be the same Trump as before. He'll be a man who understands that God has preserved him for a purpose. Only time will reveal if this pattern will play out fully. By the end of this year, or early next, we may see the fulfillment of this message. As Ecclesiastes reminds us, what has been will be again. What has been done will be done again. I see an uncanny and perhaps even eerie resemblance between the story of Nebuchadnezzar and Trump. In conclusion, may we all approach this with humility. If it is God's will, then these events will come to pass. He raises up leaders and removes them according to his plans. As we look to the future, we must remember that we don't know what the next few years will hold for our nation. Only God knows. Through prayer and humility, we can prepare ourselves for what lies ahead. To Mr. Trump, if you happen to hear this, remain humble before the Almighty, yet stay strong before men. Never surrender the vision God has placed in your heart, understanding that your life has a purpose. Just as George Washington was divinely protected during the French and Indian War, your journey may be similarly safeguarded. On our YouTube channel, we decided to turn off the comment section. Unfortunately, online spaces can sometimes bring out negativity, and we often see hurtful or hostile comments. To protect our team's time and well-being, we've chosen this approach. However, if you enjoyed this video, we would be truly grateful if you could give it a thumbs up. Your support means a lot to us, and by subscribing to our channel, you'll be kept up to date on some incredible new teachings we have planned for the coming days. Also, keep watching until the end for a special product offer. Thank you for being here, and may God bless you. I'd like to ask for your full attention now, as I share something deeply significant. A few months ago, I began noticing a trend among economists warning about a potential global reset. As I pondered these reports, I sensed something stirring in my spirit. An American apocalyptic reset. Over several weeks, I woke up early each morning with a series of powerful prophetic insights that I felt compelled to write down. These revelations are now compiled in my latest book, America's Apocalyptic Reset. This is a crucial resource for Christians. Those who study Bible prophecy, conservative Americans, and patriots who feel strongly about the future of our nation. This book spans 19 chapters, each one delving into the hidden agendas that are being carefully crafted and gradually imposed upon the American people. I reveal ways to recognize and resist these troubling changes. In my research, I uncovered remarkable prophetic patterns, some of which date back thousands of years that eerily echo events happening in the United States today. Key topics include the miraculous events related to the Great Babel Reset, the planned persecution of Christians, and a self-imposed national curse that I believe will lead to eventual judgment on the U.S. I also discuss the Jezebel Clash, examining the concept of a female political figure rising to power, and explore what our response should be as Christians. There are chapters on Silicon Valley's unique influence in an analysis of the plans to bankrupt America, leading to an economic reset. Additionally, I've addressed how believers can continue to function when the church must eventually operate underground. This book contains a unique revelation about President Trump and the historic pattern that aligns with his journey. I also tackle the question, 
How Did the Prophets Get It Wrong, and so much more. This book may be the most critical prophetic work of my ministry, especially in the times we're currently living. Alongside the book, I'm including a two-hour prophetic briefing on audio CDs. This special session contains detailed information, biblical, political, national, and international insights that I believe many of you haven't heard elsewhere. This is material I cannot share openly on social media or television due to the sensitive climate we're living in. Broadcasting it publicly would risk having the content blocked or banned, so we're providing it in a private format for those who seek truth. This apocalyptic reset resource package includes my new book and the two-hour prophetic audio set.